Mr. Speaker, there is trouble brewing in the small community of Pace, Florida, a community of less than 8,000 people just south of my hometown and full of hardworking Americans where I believe that a federal judge has gone well outside the bounds of the Constitution to declare that prayer offered among adults is illegal. That's right. The judicial branch is once again trying to act like the legislative branch and in doing so is hindering the First Amendment rights of Americans. Mr. Speaker, I'm not a lawyer, and this is not a courtroom, but as a member of Congress, I swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, and so help me God, that's what I intend to do. The facts of the case in Doe's versus School Board of Santa Rosa County are clear. The Federal District Court, without a hearing, issued an injunction preventing any school employee from promoting or facilitating prayer at any school-sponsored event. That action alone tramples upon the First Amendment rights of a specific group of people, denying them the equal protection that's provided under the very Constitution that we believe in. The same federal district court has now gone on to prohibit all employees from engaging in prayer or religious activities. The same court now thinks that Pace High School Principal Frank Lay and Athletic Director Robert Freeman violated this injunction at a private event with zero student participation, that the court would somehow consider this action to be criminal behavior is simply unconscionable. However, Frank Lay and Robert Freeman now face criminal contempt charges for praying before a meal that was to be shared. All of this, despite the fact that the Supreme Court itself has found that the free speech clause protects private religious speech. The Supreme Court has further gone to find that not all religious speech that occurs in public schools or at a school-sponsored event is attributable to the government. As lawmakers, we cannot sit idly by and let this happen. As members of Congress, we must act to uphold the Constitution. And as Americans, we must fight to ensure that our rights to freedom of religion and freedom of speech are not taken away. America is a nation of principles. We can sit here all night and argue about whether we are a nation of Judeo-Christian principles or of secular principles. But the fact is that our Constitution protects all Americans, and a court has no place deciding that some Americans do not warrant those protections. The Founding Fathers would be appalled, and I certainly am as well. I yield back.